This is the literal definition of a dollar store sci-fi movie. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guys. Hey guys, this is my review for Slingshot. I had heard about this movie and I liked the idea of it, but by God, does this movie not have a point? The film follows Casey Affleck, Florence Fishburne, and Frenchie from The Boys on this space mission to Titan. All the while, we are seeing them go about their daily activities in what seems like, I don't know, casual Friday wear on a ship that's a circle, doing beep, beep, boop, boop, boop things. We're also getting some backstory about Casey Affleck, how he got into this, or basically kind of how he sleepwalks through the whole fucking movie. I swear this man has, I am doing this for a paycheck, written on his eyeballs in every single fucking scene of this movie. And even Lawrence Fishburne also has that face. The only one who actually kind of looks like he's trying to do something is Frenchie because he's like, hey, I finally got into a movie. Yeah. Everything about this film feels very dollar store. The sets feel like dollar store. The visuals feel like dollar store. The acting feels like dollar store. There is a point in the movie where they're supposed to be doing a burn to get into the proper trajectory of going around Titan. They're sitting in seats like this, but like very bad seats, clearly not actually structurally aware. Again, it looks like they made this with fucking $5. But the worst part about it is that they're in these chairs and they have a helmet on what looks like a body Kevlar thing, but that's it. Their open hands are out like this and their shirts are still wearing their casual Friday attire underneath. They're just wearing this big dumb helmet because it really looks like the 3D printer that the set deck team had ran out of material and all they were able to do was make the helmets. It just feels like this every step of the way. Half ass, half ass, half ass, half ass. And then when it comes to its conclusion, when it comes to its ooh kind of ending, it tries to give you a multitude of slips, but the problem was that the dialogue and the storytelling was so fucking predictable throughout this entire movie that everything falls into exact place of where you would believe it to be, except for the very, very, very last shot which is basically like, oh, you weren't expecting that, were you? And it's just a giant fuck you to the audience because it doesn't work. It's such a stupid cop out. It is them trying to make their movie ever so not fucking generic that it was, even if, even if it breaks all of the logic that the film had very poorly exuded throughout its performance. Slingshot is one of those movies that you definitely feel was made for TV or DVD back in the mid 2000s, but it just so happened to be made and released now. No one looks like they give a shit in this movie. No one behind the camera seems to have given a shit except for the one asshole who was like, hey, let me write you a fucker of an ending. I wasted an hour and 40 minutes of my time watching this garbage. I was so upset with how lazy it felt. I feel like I put more effort into watching the fucking movie. That's just how generic this movie felt. Doesn't give you anything other than someone trying to put in elements of Solaris, Sunshine, and I don't know, you could maybe say a tinge bit of, of uh, Event Horizon, but really it's more so Solaris but someone who thought they knew what Solaris was about and then just went, hey, let me write it, let me do this stuff. It just keeps coming up with all of these twists that you can see coming from a mile away. It keeps coming up with all of these conundrums that just don't make any fucking sense. Again, I gotta go back to Casey Affleck at one point. There is a part where he is going through a tube uh, of the ship, which again, if this is, we have seen photos of what the ISS looks like. This looks like set deck had $5 to try and make it look like the ISS. And they clearly put it all into like one corner of the room while the rest of the wall is completely blank. Anyways, he's going through this tube and sparks are flying, which by the way, sparks in a spaceship. What the fuck does that mean, people? Crawling through it and sparks and fire kind of around him and he's just like, Clearly, the man was there for the fucking paycheck. It hurts so much. Slingshot is trash. It does not deserve your time. It's very lazy. It's very generic. And it's very predictable. And even when the ending does come at a somewhat of a surprise, it completely breaks the fallacy of what the movie was. Yes, I understand that there was that one little line that was like trying to be like a ooh, but it, it's still stupid. It's still so stupid. That's all for me. I'm gonna give Slingshot a one out of seven. I never wanna watch this fucking movie again. I really hated it. I really, 
really did not like it. I don't like a single fucking bit of it. But those are my thoughts. If you guys have seen the movie, please let me know what you thought in the comments below. Let me know if you think that I'm being overly harsh. I just really did not like this movie, but I'm interested to see what you guys have to say. Otherwise, guys, that's all from me. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Until then, see you guys next time.